Hey y'all, this is Darren Van Dam, and you are watching Flick Connection, the show that connects you with the best movies to stream, and today we're going to be talking about 10 highly rated horror movies that are surprisingly underappreciated. So this is going to be a list of 10 lesser known horror movies, which means there's probably quite a few on this list you've never seen or heard of. The full list of all the movies discussed in this video can be found in the top pinned comment down below, along with where you can stream it. Availability is subject to change, so make sure you've clicked the subscribe button and the little bell icon. That way you get notified when these videos release so you don't miss the movies before they're gone. But we're going to start this list of horror movies off with a fairly recent release that's actually a throwback called Summer of 84. Now this is one of the least scary movies on this particular list, but it is a great sort of horror slash thriller. In this movie, a group of teenagers decide that one of their neighbors might be an infamous serial killer and they begin to investigate. This is something you've seen before. There are a handful of movies that follow this. I mean, Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window falls into the same category here. This feels like something you've seen before, not only because the story is familiar, but because it does have kind of an 80s vibe, yet the story manages to surprise you multiple times with various twists and turns. Again, this is not the scariest movie on this list, but it is an exciting sort of horror-themed thriller. Now, my number nine pick on this list is one of the darkest. Doesn't mean it's the scariest, but it's definitely got the grimmest subject matter and that is Lovely Molly. This is about a young woman who moves into her deceased father's house and begins having these horrific visions, nightmares, and more. This movie actually has several sequences in it that are all very simple, little to no special effects, yet they are incredibly effective. This one will make your spine tingle, especially if you don't mess around on your phone while you're watching the movie. It does have a pretty graphic sex scene as well that is oddly dark and chilling and some of the themes are sexual in nature and they are not pleasant so this is one of the more upsetting movies to watch yet it's also just expertly done and has a really high chill factor my number eight pick fits into a similar boat it is a slow burn that all takes place in sort of an old dilapidated house but it goes into a wildly different direction i'm talking about a dark song a Dark Song is about a woman performing what we'll call for the sake of this video a seance in this old house trying to conjure something or someone. She's got an assistant and as I said this is a slow burn. It takes quite a while for this one to get going but it ramps up. It continues to get darker and more mysterious the further along you go on this journey. Keep in mind though, it's all filmed in one location. It can get a little bit stale, but if you can be patient, there is a payoff towards the end of a dark song. With that though, we'll jump to my number seven pick, which is easily one of the most fun and exciting movies on this list. It hails from Australia and it's called Wormwood Road of the Dead. Now this is a boilerplate zombie movie. There's nothing too special about the setup except that these zombies run on fuel. Yes, I know it's a silly concept. However, Wormwood delivers. They make really great use of this strange concept and they have a lot of fun with it. There are some fantastic car chases in this movie, but also just some interesting wild zombie scenes that are really fun and unlike anything else you've seen in any other zombie movie because of the way this one is set up. This one goes into some wacky, wild, and bloody sort of science fiction directions that are insanely fun to watch, especially around Halloween. In no way would I rank this as like an excellent zombie movie. There are plenty excellent zombie movies out there. This though is just an insanely fun bloodbath of a zombie movie that has some insane car chases at the same time, which is not something you usually get in zombie flicks. My number six pick is dark and weirdly interesting, and it also has sort of the loosest structure out of anything on this list, yet I still highly recommend The Signal. There are several movies by that title. I'm talking about the low-budget 2007 horror hidden gem, The Signal. In this movie, there is this mysterious signal that causes people to lose their minds, sort of like a zombie outbreak, yet 
significantly different, but what makes this movie even more different is it's told from three different perspectives, and it's got kind of a disjointed nature because of that, yet it really does work for the signal. Most other movies try to do something like this, especially at this lower budget level, and it's gonna be janky and it's not gonna quite work, yet because everyone's losing their minds and it's such a chaotic environment that you're in anyway, the chaotic nature of the story actually serves to elevate it and makes this an incredibly interesting horror flick. Now, it's not super scary, yet it is upsetting. There are quite a few graphic scenes in this one that again are just way different than anything I've ever seen in a horror movie before, which earned this one major points from me. All right, now we're in my top five and we're gonna go with the only true horror comedy on this list. Yet this isn't some silly slapstick comedy or anything. It's actually a really solid sort of horror action movie with fantastic comedy elements. It's titled The Revenant. <laughs> This too is a zombie movie that is wildly different. This is not a zombie outbreak movie. In The Revenant, you follow a soldier who joins the ranks of the undead and decides to team up with his best friend and fight crime in Los Angeles. Most of the comedy comes from their banter. They're both really great and have this fantastic chemistry. But then The Revenant makes great use of this fairly simple setup. Even though the setup's unusual, they have a lot of fun with it. And the movie's never too silly. It's never too scary. It is kind of a gross out movie. It is pretty bloody at times, but everyone's having fun with it. And story-wise, it does deal with some serious elements in a nice way. It's threaded through all of the comedy and the blood and the guts pretty well. So if you generally like horror comedies, this is an excellent one. It's gonna excite you though a lot more than it's gonna make you laugh. Okay, my number four pick on this list is also a fairly recent release that is just a true gothic horror movie. It's titled The Autopsy of Jane Doe. This is actually from the same director as Troll Hunter and Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, two movies I have recommended on this channel. I happen to think The Autopsy of Jane Doe is his best film so far. This stars Brian Cox and Emile Hirsch, so it's already starting off with fantastic actors. They play a father and son team of coroners who are performing an autopsy on a Jane Doe, an unknown woman who was found buried in the basement of a house. So not only was there a lot of mystery revolving her discovery, but as they begin to perform this autopsy, they begin to find more and more mysterious things, and eventually, slowly, all hell breaks loose in their facility. This movie makes really great use of gothic themes and sets things up in a really particular way that makes everything that happens afterwards insanely chilling. Released in 2016, this was one of the best horror movies released that year, and it still was widely underwatched. If you've never heard of it and you wanna watch a scary, yet really classic style horror movie this Halloween, The Autopsy of Jane Doe is gonna be one of your best bets across any platform. My number three pick on this list also comes from Australia, and it is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre style of a horror movie with a really interesting twist titled The Loved Ones. In this movie, a young woman asks a boy to prom, and when he turns her down, her and her insane father take some extreme measures to make sure his little girl gets what she wants. You may recognize the main character there tied to a chair. That's Xavier Samuel. He recently appeared in Blonde on Netflix. I knew I recognized him from somewhere and it's mostly from being tied to this chair and the loved ones. And this does have some levity. There are some light elements, some sort of coming of age things that are sort of nice and fresh in the movie. But for the most part, this is a grim Texas Chainsaw Massacre style horror flick. It's bloody, it's gross. It's insanely chilling, especially the scenes with the girl and her father. But above all else, it's just really balanced. As I said, it's got humor, it's got tension, and it's unusually effective at creeping you out. This is a solid flick that if you haven't seen it, when you watch it, you will be surprised that you've never heard of it. Okay, my number two pick is probably the one that is the most popular yet. It still is a lesser known movie and what's so great about it is there's two of them and they're both equally good. 
Grave Encounters is not only a fun horror movie, but it too is also surprisingly effective at scaring the shit out of you, especially for a found footage movie. The reason I say that is because the found footage formula, while it does have its upsides, it's largely played out and just doesn't really work anymore. However, Grave Encounters does something different that makes the found footage setup actually work. In this movie, or these two movies, you're following a group of ghost hunters very much like the ones you see on all the reality channels. And the movie pokes a lot of fun at that. In fact, the first 15 minutes or so are essentially a comedy. There's not a lot scary going on, and it does take quite a while for Grave Encounters to get going, but what's so great about this one is not the balance, it is the shift. This goes from being sort of a fun, goofy little comedy about some ghost hunters to being a terrifying movie about people trapped inside an insane asylum with some fantastically scary found footage moments. Not only does the first one really deliver and have a lot of great elements to it, again, for a found footage movie, but the sequel follows up on all those really beautifully, making this a fantastic double feature to watch this Halloween. If you've never seen either Grave Encounters, I'm telling you, mark your calendars, put these on, on like a Friday or Saturday night during October this year. And then my number one pick is one of the most underrated sort of meta slasher movies ever created, Behind the Mask. Now this too is found footage, but instead of ghost hunters, you're following a group of young documentarians that are wanting to make a movie about a serial killer. And that's where the meta element comes in. This movie pokes fun at slasher movies quite a bit. If you are a fan of the genre and you've never seen Behind the Mask, it is gonna be one of your new favorite movies. However, if you don't typically watch slasher movies, a lot of the humor will be lost on you. There are a lot of sort of inside jokes in the genre that just won't work if you're not familiar with it, and it'll just seem sort of like a mediocre slasher movie with kind of a goofy main character. Yet, true horror fans, again, will absolutely love everything about this movie, especially the last 30 minutes or so, they're some of the best horror movie elements on a list full of amazing moments. But that is the list. Hopefully you found some great new movies to watch, but I will keep making these videos as long as you keep watching them. Thanks for watching this special Hidden Gem Horror episode, and you will see me on the next one.